Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any misses. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, so I'm very sure that most of you know what an inside a bar candlestick setup is. Well, if you are someone who doesn't know about it, let me go ahead and brief you real quick. Okay, so it's a kind of a strategy or a setup that is made up of two candlesticks and the setup is complete when the latest candlestick, which we call as a child candle, is completely inside the range of the previous candlestick, which we call as a mother candle. So basically, once the setup is completed on the charts, we initiate a buy trade if the high of the child candle is breached and we initiate a sell trade if the low of the child candle is breached. Simple. So this is how we trade an inside bar candlestick pattern. OK, now let me take you to the chart so that I can explain the things uh, a bit clearly over there. OK, just a moment. All right. Right. So you see these two setups, right? So both of them. OK, let me bring in the pencil here. So, yeah, so both of them, this one and this one are inside bar setups. Now, the color of the candle does not matter. The left hand side uh, candlestick can be green. The right hand side can be red or the left hand side candlestick can be red and the right hand side candlestick can be green. OK, there is no importance of the color of the candlesticks. What's important is the two candles, the pair of these candles. So as I said, this candle that you see here, this one, the green one that you see here, that is the mother candle. And the right candle, that is the recent candle. That is, when I say recent, I, what I mean is the last candle that is formed on the chart. Okay, so the recent candle, that is the red candle, that has to be inside the range of the mother candle. Right, so the pink line, these two lines that I drew are the range of the mother candle, that is the green candle. And when I say range, what I mean is the high and the low. I mean, <laughs> I should not be explaining so much of basics because uh, if you are trading, then you should be aware about these uh, terminologies at least. But again, just to make sure that people understand. OK, so uh, what I was saying was, yeah, so the inside bar candlestick pattern is completed when this candle, that is the child candle, falls within the range of the mother candle. OK, so the high 
of the high and low of the child candle should be completely inside the high and the low of the mother candle. I hope it is clear. Okay, now let's talk about the right hand side setup. As I said, the color of the candle does not matter. What matters is the setup. When do we see that the latest candle is completely inside the range of the mother candle? So the same thing is happening here, right? So the range of the child candle is from here to here. And the range of the mother candle is from here to here. Right? So the range of the child candle is completely inside the range of the mother candle. So we say this setup to be a inside bar setup. Okay, now I hope you're clear on what an inside bar is all about. Okay, let me also also explain where to take the entry and exits. Okay, so uh, if you are trading an inside bar, normally whenever you see that the setup is complete, you can take a long position once the high of the child candle is breached. Okay, and you can take a short position when you see that the low of the child candle is breached. Now, if you are going long, if you are initiating a buy trade, your stop loss will be just below the low of the child candle. And if you are initiating a short trade, if you are initiating a sell trade, then your stop loss will be just above the high of the child candle. As simple as that. Okay, so this completes the inside bar candlestick pattern. Okay, now if I talk about the time frames, well, normally the inside bars can be traded in any time frame or in any style of trading. It might be intraday trading or it might be swing trading or even in the positional trading as well. Okay, so the time frames, uh, I mean the inside bar candlestick pattern works in all the time frames and also works in all the type of all the all the trading styles that we have. Okay, as I said, day trading or swing trading or positional trading. Okay, so this completes my explanation about the inside bar candlestick pattern. Now, moving on to the coiling inside bar strategy. Now, this video is not about the inside bar candlestick pattern. This video is about the coiling inside bar candlestick pattern or the coiling inside bar strategy. Now, listen to this very carefully. Now, since you understood what exactly an inside bar candlestick pattern is, Next, we will talk about the coiling inside bar. Okay, so how do we know that a coiling inside bar pattern has occurred on the charts? Let me show you that first. Okay, so just a moment. Let me. Okay. Now, this, as I said, this is the mother candle, right? This is the child candle. And we will have another candle here okay we'll have another candle here excuse me about uh, the wicks okay that might not be perfect but i would rather request you to concentrate more on the explanation okay so yeah so when you see this type of uh, pattern occurring on the charts you know that this is a coiling inside bar pattern. Now, let me go ahead and explain it. What exactly is that? Now, in a coiling inside bar pattern, what happens is this remains the mother candle, right? This remains the mother candle. This remains the child candle. And we will have an additional candle whose range will be completely inside the range of the child candle. Okay, so this is the range of the child candle, right? So the third candle, which is the latest candle, the range of it, the high and low of it should be completely inside the range of the child candle. And as I explained earlier, the range of the child candle should be completely inside the range of the mother candle. If you get this pattern, then you know that this is a coiling inside bar strategy or a coiling inside bar setup. Okay, again, the color of the candles does not matter. It can be red, green, red, or green, green, red, or red, 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 or green, 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 anything. You have to just make sure that the ranges should be falling within the candlestick ranges. 
So this candlestick range, just a moment. This candlestick range should be completely inside this candlestick range. And this candlestick range should be completely inside this candlestick range. As simple as that. Okay, I hope you're clear. Now, let's talk about this one. Uh, the right hand side one. Okay, again, let me go ahead and draw a candlestick here. Right? So, now this setup becomes a calling inside bar setup. Again, why do we call it a calling inside bar setup? Because the range of the latest candle is completely inside the range of the child candle. And the range of the child candle is completely inside the range of the mother candle. Hence, this setup is a coiling inside bar setup. I hope you are completely clear on how to find a coiling inside bar setup. Okay, now talking about the time frames. Okay, let me delete the lines here. Now, talking about the time frames in which uh, these should be used. Okay. Make sure that if at all you are trading a coil, coiling inside bar setup, you should trade it only in one day time frame. You should not be trading it inside an intraday trade. Okay, you should not be using the coiling inside bar setup for day trading, as simple as that. If at all you want to use or trade the coiling inside bar strategy or setup, make sure that you use only one day time frame and the trading style that you have to follow is either swing trading or positional trading. Just to repeat, no intraday trading for coiling inside bar setup. Okay, clear? Now let's move on. Do not use this in day trading, as I said, because in day trading, this does not seem to be feasible. Because let's say if the mother candle itself is a very big long candle, then the entries and the stop loss will not stand right. The entries will be late and there will be no guarantee that once you enter, the prices will still keep moving up or keep moving down uh, because the mother candle itself was a very big candle and it was a very big move in itself. Okay. Also, the stop losses will be huge. Because this also depends on the mother candle. The stop loss also depends on the mother candle. So avoid trading coiling inside bar setup in intraday trading period. Now, the next, next aspect to coiling inside bar setup is the entries and the stop losses will depend on the mother candle. So if, for example, if you saw a calling in sidebar setup being formed on the chart, your entry, if you want to take a buy position, you take the buy position when the high of the mother candle is breached. And you take a short position if you see the low of the mother candle is breached. You remember? I talked about inside bar candlestick pattern. In inside bar candlestick pattern, what was happening was we were initiating a buy trade if the high of the child candle is breached and we were initiating a sell trade if the low of the child candle is breached. But here, in case of coiling inside bar setup, things are different. In this setup, we concentrate on the mother bar, on the mother candle. So if you want to take a buy trade, you take the buy trade only after the high of the mother candle is breached and you take a sell trade if the high I'm sorry, if the low of the mother candle is breached, as simple as that. Again, stop losses. If you are into a buy trade, put a stop loss just below the low of the mother candle. If you are into a sell trade, put your stop loss just above the high of the mother candle, as simple as that. Okay, now let me take you to some of the charts. Okay, real time charts where we have seen the formation of the coiling inside bar setup. Okay, just a moment. Right. So this is Reliance one day time frame. As you can see here, uh, the three candlesticks that has been encircled form a coiling inside bar setup. Okay. Oh, just a moment. Right. This one, this one, and this one. 
Okay, these three candlesticks are forming a calling in sidebar setup. Okay, so the high and the low of the latest candle is falling inside the range of the high and the low of the child candle and the high and low of the child candle is falling completely inside the high and low of the mother candle. Right? So basically it will be like this. This is the mother candle, this is the child candle and this is the latest candle. If you see this setup, this is a calling inside bar setup. Simple, right? No rocket science. Right, so entry again. <coughs> I'm sorry. So if you talk about the entry, as I said, if the high of, <coughs> I'm sorry, if the high of the mother candle is breached, you go ahead and initiate a buy trade. And if the low of the mother candle is breached, you go ahead and initiate a sell trade. In this example, the low of the mother candle is breached, right? So you have to wait for this red candle to close and you initiate a trade at this candle. So you go short in this candle, any price point, that's fine. You put a stop loss here at the, just above the high of the mother candle, somewhere here. The stop loss will be here, right? And you see the move. It give a nice down move. Understood the setup? Pretty simple, right? Let's move on to the next one. Again, Reliance formed another calling inside bar setup. Okay, these three candles that you see here. First candle, second candle, third candle. These three candles that you see here form a calling inside bar and this time it gave us an opportunity to trade in the buy direction because the high of the mother candle was breached. So your entry will be any, at any price point at this candlestick. And as you can see here, it gave a nice up move, right? And your stop loss will be just below uh, the low of the mother candle that is here, right? One more example, just a last one. Again, Reliance one day time frame. You see here, these three candlesticks are forming an inside, uh, a calling inside bar setup. And this time also, we are getting an opportunity to trade in the buy direction because the high of the mother candle has been breached. Right, so this is the candle which breached the high of the mother candle. So you take the entry at any price point in this particular candlestick. You put the stop loss, just a moment. You put the stop loss just below the low of the mother candle somewhere here. And you can see the move zoomed up. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, now there is one more perspective of it, which I'm gonna discuss uh, in some time. Let me just uh, think if I'm missing on anything. Just a moment, okay? Uh, that is, uh, okay. Time frame is done. Uh, trading style is done. Uh, yeah, so we have covered it all, okay? So this, so this was the explanation for the calling inside bar strategy, guys. How to find it? I just explained where to take the entry, where to put the stop loss and uh, uh, profit booking is uh, it depends absolutely on you okay if you are somebody who is following risk reward go ahead with that if you are somebody who is following the technicals uh, or technical analysis go ahead with the indicators and uh, decide your target uh, point and stuff like that okay but the basic the basic of this video is to make you understand what is a calling inside bar strategy or setup and how to trade it okay which we just covered Okay, so now I hope that you're clear as to what exactly is a calling inside bar setup or strategy, how to use it and in which kind of trading style it is recommended to be used and also what are the time frames in which you can trade it. Okay, let me minimize this. Okay, now one more perspective to this is that you will not find the calling inside bar setup so frequently. Okay, they are actually rare to be found. So to make things a bit easier for you, I have prepared a simple scan that will help you in finding the coiling inside bar setup whenever they are formed on the charts. Okay, so we'll take the help of uh, charting.com in order to scan for this particular setup. Okay, so if I take you to chartinc.com, 
this is the website i'm very sure many of you might be using it uh, you can see this uh, parameters okay this is how you create a scan okay not a big deal okay if uh, you are somebody who is completely new he can or he or she can also prepare it within two to three minutes okay but again just to help you out as i said i have already prepared the setup here the scan here if you want you can pause the video go to charting.com and go ahead and set up this particular scan for yourselves okay just six parameters to type in so the latest high should be less than one day ago high right we are this is uh, we are talking about the latest candlestick the smallest one okay and the next one is one day ago high should be less than two days ago high this is the uh, uh, this is the parameter for the child candle okay and the third one is two days ago's high should be greater than one days ago high and this is for the parent candle okay similarly we have to talk about the lows as well latest low should be greater than one day ago low one day ago low should be greater than two days ago's low two days ago's low should be less than one days ago's low very simple okay just six parameters and you are done with that okay now once you get this you can go ahead and scan it for any segment like you can select from here if you want to go for cash let's say for example the cash segment equity cash select cash and click on run scan and it will see here running the scan and it gives you the results here so all these stocks have formed the calling in sidebar strategy now please remember that these all these stocks that you see here are not fno stocks okay so i recommend you to go only for fno stocks and not uh, these random stocks okay similarly if you want to uh, scan for uh, futures okay select futures run the scan again and that will give you these as of now as of today these are the mcx and dabur are the only two stocks that have formed calling inside bar strategy or setup similarly if you want to go for uh, nifty 100 200 nifty 50 uh, maybe let's select nifty 50 and click on run scan and as you can see here there is no stock that has formed the calling inside bar setup so it's blank here okay so very simple to scan just prepare this setup here okay just prepare this scan here make sure that this passes all should always be there okay if you see here it has to be always passes all okay and on the right hand side here you can select any segment that you want to trade on and click on run scan and that will give you the stock list simple so i hope this helps you and uh, it will surely save a lot of time uh, for you to uh, to avoid the manual scans okay so i hope this would really help you uh, as i said in avoiding the manual scans and also a lot of your time okay so make sure to go ahead and use it according to your convenience okay so that's it from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video i have put in the video card on the top right corner of this video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get to know some more information about hyt that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions and queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget forget to like this video if you liked it okay so that's all from my end and we'll see you all later guys hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye bye